Hey, Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New Hampshire and New England brews. And welcome back for another review of a New Hampshire beer. Uh, today I'm doing White Birch out of Hooksett, New Hampshire. I've done several of their beers, but this is their White Birch Espresso Imperial Stout. Now, Espresso and Imperial Stout sounds kind of, it's going to be kind of a pretty heavy-duty sort of beer to me, and it's also probably going to keep me awake. But anyway, um, it's uh, brewed in Hooksett, New Hampshire, and uh, this uh, is marked, as you can see, something that uh, White Birch likes to do is give you the basic details uh, that come with a particular beer that they're brewing, and in this case, this is this particular bottle uh, was bottled on April 16, 2010. This is from batch number one. It is number 402 of 516 bottles. And the alcohol content on this, the ABV, is 10.0%. Uh, so uh, there's a little description on the side here from Bill Herlica, who is the uh, chief brewer and owner of the company. It uh, basically says, this stout starts with a blend of dark malts. It's then fused with freshly roasted and brewed espresso, the courtesy of our friend John Anastas. The result is a complimentary blend of roasted malts and coffee flavors with a smooth finish. It's sure to satisfy your inner coffee fiend. <laughs> right. Well, that seems like an interesting description of what I'm about to have. So, um, take a better look at the label, the white birch label. Suggests I drink in uh, uh, a glass similar to this. Not quite exactly what they were looking for, but it will work for the purpose of this review. So let's open off the silver top. Ah, even before I even pour it and uh, get the uh, glass anywhere near my nose, I notice a, a nice strong aroma to it. Let's give it a pour. Definitely coming out a very nice, rich, dark brown um, with uh, not quite black, a very extremely dark brown, and maybe a charcoal sort of black, uh, somewhere between brown and black. It's not quite there yet. Good sized uh, two finger head on this, which is a, a sort of silky and uh, frothy sort of brownish uh, um, color, beige, tan. Uh, the beer looks like a really solid brew, so without further ado, let me give it a whip. Oh, yes, absolutely. There's coffee in that brew. You can taste that or smell it right off the bat. It definitely has a strong coffee aroma. A bit of a chocolatey, malty aroma as well. Um, but it's it's um, it's not a overwhelming one. You notice all those different flavors kind of blending together um, with a nice sort of a feel to the sensations. So um, let's give it a, uh, a taste. Yeah, very nice. Uh, it's got a, a bit of hoppiness in it, but it's coffee. Uh, I tend to like my coffee with cream and sugar, or actually cream and Splenda, or equal, or any of the uh, sub sugar substitutes. But uh, So it, it's got more of that coffee flavor without the sugar and sweetness that I'm used to in a glass of coffee or a cup of coffee that I have in the morning. However, it is still very, very, very nice. There's a good um, hoppiness in there, um, but it's not like an IPA sort of hop. It's definitely got a, uh, the types of hops that really make your beer much drier. So overall, there's a real dry kind of a sensation going on here with the uh, with the beer, and uh, there's a bit of a coffee. I don't really notice the the strength that you might get from an espresso, but I do notice the coffee in there a bit. bit of malts. But yeah, the dryness, the dry finish is really kind of the uh, leading uh, feeling that I get here. The the big thing that just sort of, sort of stands out, the standout on this particular beer. Um, so if you're looking for an espresso taste, I don't really get a lot of that. However, you do get a bit of a coffee taste there. And maybe it's supposed to be subtle, I don't know. I don't think you want to be overwhelmed by espresso when you're drinking a beer. At least I don't want to. Some people might like that, but that's not really something I'm a big uh, fan of anyway. So, but as far as um, a nice stout-like kind of hoppiness, uh, 
uh, and with a dryness. And this really does a nice job in that regard. So, um, yeah, it's not a bad beer, and uh, you know, I'm anxious to try more brews from White Birch. They're putting out new beers all the time, and uh, whenever they come out, I like to grab them when I can. So, uh, I'm going to finish off this espresso one, and uh, cheers. I'll catch you again next time.